Black rockfish have an unusually high reproduction rate. Hi, what's going on everybody? My name is Brandon. I'm a marine biologist and an artist, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. I love sharing my experiences with aquatic animals with you. It's my goal to raise awareness of our beautiful bodies of water and the creatures that live in them through science, stories, and art. If you are new to this community, please stick around to the very end so that you can hear about my monthly charity program. If you're here from one of the three shows that I was attending, thank you so much for joining this community. We are over 150 subscribers. Thank you so much. Today we're going to discover the black rockfish. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Sebastes melanops are also known as black rockfish, black sea perch, black bass, black rock cod, black snapper, and Pacific Ocean perch. Want to know why I started including the scientific names of animals in this adventure? That is why. There are so many common names for this fish. I want you to be confident in your identification when you see these animals. There are so many common names, but only one scientific name. It keeps it simple. For this video, I will refer to the fish as a black rockfish. All right. Tangent up. Black rockfish are found in the North and East Pacific Ocean along the continental shelf. They range from the Aleutian Islands, Alaska, all the way to Baja, California. They are a pelagic fish that prefers rocky terrain like rocky reefs. Most often, they can be found from 0 to 366 meters, but average less than 152 meters. They are a marine species of fish, meaning they spend their whole life in salt water. What are we looking for when identifying a black rockfish? Well, they have a typical rockfish body. It is a deep body like a bass. They have eight soft spines that lead to a set of soft rays on the dorsal surface. The eight spines are typically resting flat along the surface of the body when swimming. This allows them to reduce drag along the body when swimming. They can raise these spines if threatened or resting on the spot. They have a broad flat tail or caudal peduncle. It looks like a regular rockfish except for its color. They are predominantly black when they are young but fade as they age. This causes them to have a white, gray, and black modeling along their sides. They are slow growing but live for a long time. The longest recorded black rockfish lived to be 50 years old. Their average total length is between 30 and 42 centimeters, or 11.8 inches to 16.5 inches. You can use a total length for this rockfish because they have a flat tail. They have, they have a rounded anal fin that is typically lighter than the rest of the body. They have medium-sized eyes and a large mouth. Rockfish have this cool ability to float almost motionless in the water column. They have an organ inside their body that can regulate their buoyancy. This is called the gas bladder. It fills with gas, which can increase or decrease the buoyancy until they are neutrally buoyant. I have heard stories of people watching this rockfish use its gas bladder to sneak up on prey without moving. The fish lowered itself above a shrimp and slurped it up like a deadly UFO. This brings us to our next segment of the adventure. What do black rockfish eat, and how are they doing? Black rockfish are carnivores. They eat zooplankton, crab larvae, small fish, herring, and sand lance. Luckily, all these animals are readily available. They are prey to marine mammals, birds, and humans. The IUCN Red List has them listed as not evaluated, but I believe their populations are stable. There are commercial fisheries for black rockfish. Apparently, they taste good. Their habitat choice makes it difficult to catch tons of these fish at a time. They like being near rocks and rocky reefs, which allows them to escape commercial nets easily. 
even at the rate that they are caught, they still maintain their population health. Typically, an animal species that is slow growing and matures slow is unable to reproduce quickly, but the black rockfish manages to keep its population health high. They are viviparous, which means that they give birth to live young. They lay roughly 125,000 to 1.2 million eggs per breeding season. Females mature between 6 and 8 years. Each female creates more eggs the older she gets and the larger she gets. Do you remember what we called old fecund females? Comment below. This brings us to our last segment of the adventure, my personal encounter with this fish. I encountered this fish at the Point Defiant Zoo in Tacoma. I am familiar with rockfish and knew it was a black rockfish. I love that I knew what it was. I don't always know what I'm looking at when I'm looking at a fish. There are so many out there that I can't know all of them all at the top of my head. I still had to do some research about its scientific name and all of the details, but I love learning new things. It is fun photographing rockfish. They don't move very much, and it is a photogenic fish. I didn't know what I didn't know that black rockfish change their appearance as they get older. Looking back at my photo, I know that this fish is an older fish. It was in the same tank and directly below the copper rockfish. If you look back to, the, to that painting and this one, you will see that they basically line up and the environment is basically the same. There is the same rusty pier and kelp in this painting. I didn't mean to do this, but I was scanning the wall of fish and taking photos of all the different species. This was a floor to ceiling window. It created their natural habitat and gave a great sense of scale to this fish. I love sharing fish from my backyard with you. As the details are coming into focus, I will call this adventure finished. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, click subscribe and ring the notification bell to be notified when I post new content. I do my best to post new content every single weekend, but sometimes life gets in the way or a painting is too detailed to finish in a week. In this case, I had three shows. I had Cinco de Mayo, I had one in Mill Creek, and I had the Night of the Arts of, at Glacier Peak. So I really, during the week, I really didn't have a lot of time to make my videos since I was setting up for my shows. Since we're in May, I have a new charity for you. So I want to work with ALS Research. ALS, it has affected me and my family um, in several ways. I know several people who have ALS or who have passed away from ALS. Now ALS is a unique an interesting disease where people's bodies just slowly start deteriorating and it affects the way that they live, they move, and sometimes it can take their life. So since May is National ALS Awareness Month, I figured I would leave a link in the description for ALS donations for you. It's part of my goal to create a community that gives back to the greater world to make a, a positive impact on the world. So that's why I've come up with this monthly charity program. If you would like to support this channel, I sell my art in the forms of originals and museum quality uh, prints known as Jaclays. So my originals run $12 a linear inch, my prints run $6 and $3 a linear inch for a limited edition and an unlimited edition print. I also sell apparel on teespring.com, links are down below. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support that I've been receiving. I love hearing your feedback, it's great meeting all of you. I've been Brandon, and I'll see you in our next adventure.